guys, I'm Larry the Butcher. Hi, hope you like it. <laughs> Do it. Hi, I'm the Butcher. Ah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get to know another craft beer. So this is one of those beers that came from my brew box. Brandon is here. Brandon will not try any. Uh, this came from my brew box. It was a gift from my wife for Valentine's Day. I'm not a heavy drinker, so it's taken a while. It's like a freaking bottle of wine from the Oast House in beautiful, amazing Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. We have Beer de Garde. Um, we'll learn a bit about the brewery, then we'll learn a bit about the beer. Built in an agricultural region, built with dirty hands, sore backs, and an obsession for craft. Discover Niagara with each drop of their beer. It's pretty vague. Um, but I live, I live like 45 minutes away. And it's, it's currently November 20th, 2016. Um, Smith Haven's beer brewery is about 15 minutes away. So what I'm gonna do, if the weather's good, and on my day off next week, not, not between the 20th and the 26th, but between the 28th and December 1st or whatever. If the weather's nice, I'll ride my motorcycle. I will travel to both breweries. Hope I'm gonna contact them both. Tell them what I do. Um, and see if I can get two tours in one day. So let's learn about Beer de Garde. This bottle conditioned farmhouse ale was brewed in the Northern French tradition using the freshest ingredients and Belgian yeasts. The Beer de Garde is brewed to celebrate harvest and quench the thirst of the seasonal worker that make it happen each year. I worked in a grocery store in Niagara-on-the-Lake for three or four years. Um, a lot of migrant workers um, from from the Caribbean, from Jamaica. You can close that. Oh my God! No. Whose show is it? Is it your show or is it mine? Uh -oh. Huh? Huh? Where's my producer? Hi, five. Acting. The key. Um. Ah. So I worked in Niagara Lake. Um, it used to be MB Foods, now it's a Value Mart. Props to, hi to everyone that's still there that I worked with. Uh, I, I enjoyed my time there. A lot of great customers too. Customers were awesome. We have this. 750, really, you know what? It's two bottles of beer. And it's got 7% alcohol, so it is on the high side. I am off tomorrow. So, let's feel like I'm opening a champagne bottle. All right, um, what, what can I break? What don't I want to break? It's coming out pretty easy. Woo! Daddy, give me ice cream. No, ice cream. It's heavy. It's guinness -y. Like, look how dark it is. I have never tried an Oast House beer. Never expected to try a beer this big. Hey, no touch at all. No touch at all. Come on. This is really good. It's probably the sweetest beer that I've tried from the brew box. Which, which may explain the wine bottle. It's like a dessert beer. This bottle conditioned farmhouse ale was brewed in the northern French tradition using the freshest ingredients and Belgian yeast. Beer de Garde is brewed to celebrate harvest and quench the thirst of the seasonal workers that make it happen each year. Well, they just copied right off the bottle. It's a lot ahead. That's what she said. What kind of, what is it? Beer de Garde. It's the sweetest beer that I've tried so oh. far. Yes, I know, eh? It's like a dessert beer. Like a what? Dessert beer. Oh. What do you think? Yeah, like something like a, a dessert beer, like an ice wine kind of. Yeah, thing. which means that this type of bottle makes sense. I don't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> this is I'm really this is really good. This would be the type of beer that if you were to put beer in a pastry, you would use this. You think? Yeah, it would work. It's got that. 
It's got that sweetie aftertaste in it. Like coats your mouth. Yeah. Co coats what's your that, tongue. So what's different about it? I don't know. Well, what's it I say? haven't made any beer yet. It's coming. It'll be interesting to see me edit this after having almost a liter of this beer. You think drunk emailing is funny? <laughs> to the fine folks at Oast House, I really enjoy this. You make a fine quality product. And I will be emailing you tonight. I have one brew box left. Maybe we'll get through it before the end of Christmas. Yeah, how long have you known me? She says I'm crazy, like she's known me for like almost 10 years. We've been together for eight. The picture from eight years ago, the Christmas party popped up on my feed yesterday. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, look how chubby he is. Your face was like totally round. It was, it was weird. I used to be fatter. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, I woke up at 4.15 this morning. It is currently 9.26. I'm feeling pretty freaking awesome. You're not even halfway through that bottle of beer. Two thirds. <laughs> Um, maybe, maybe I caught, you know how your sleep has a set wave to it? Maybe I caught it at the right point. Maybe waking up at 4.15 in the morning should be my thing. Wake up the wife and the kids, be as loud as possible, play Metallica. I'm not getting any evil way. I don't know why. <sighs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I, of course, am Larry the Butcher, trying a craft beer. Um, if you live in Ontario and you can get Ostel Spirit, by all means, I do highly recommend that you try this. This is pretty freaking awesome. If you do not live anywhere where you can get Ostel Spirit or any of the other beers I've tried, explore your neighborhood. Try beers that are local to you. Budweiser and all of those big breweries, they have enough money. These guys are local businessmen and they financed everything and you know they've got their student loans on top of that and they're actually hustling trying to make it work so by all means um, send some love in the general direction of your local craft beer your local brew pub you may discover something that may be the best thing you've ever seen or at least you've tried another beer thanks guys like comment down below subscribe share email me if you live close by Maybe we'll have a beer somewhere. Cheers.